First up on News 13 at 530, South Carolina's Department of Education will soon be drafting a policy banning the use of cell phones and other personal electronic devices in classrooms during the school day. The new measure could start as soon as the upcoming school year. News 13 Skylar Music is live in our newsroom and Skylar, what did the department and Horry County parents say about this plan? Trish, Annette, the cell phone ban is tied to a provision that must happen if the school districts plan to get state funding. A South Carolina Department of Education official says this cell phone ban comes after similar policies were successful for some students and teachers in some school districts in the state and across the country. In late May, the state superintendent of education sent a brief survey about school cell phone use to all certified teachers, and 10,000 educators completed it. The results showed 83% of high school teachers think phones distract their students daily in their classrooms. The survey also found 92% of teachers support a policy limiting cell phone access, with 55% supporting a full ban during the school day. We spoke to Horry County parents, and some of them agree that a cell phone ban would improve students' classroom experience. It's a major distraction. I think uh, the learning is going to go down, it's going to decline. I think uh, being out in the real world, away from your phone, it's really good to develop uh, your, your mind, especially as a young child going through middle school and high school. Uh, I think there's a, a lot of things to learn that uh, doesn't require a cell phone. A Department of Education official told us one of the department's goals is to address cyber and in-school safety concerns. If a cell phone policy is approved, the department will require all South Carolina schools to implement cell phone restrictions, if not a full ban, by January 2025 in order to receive state funding. Horry County Schools is waiting to see what happens at a Department of Education meeting next month. Until then, some parents think schools need to address other issues before cell phones. I'm not a fan of the cell phone ban. If they want to come up with a way to prevent guns and weapons coming into the school, then we could talk about a cell phone ban. Also, Georgetown County Schools plans to implement what it calls electronic communication device procedures at the beginning of this school year, meaning a ban against personal devices in the classroom. Live in the newsroom, Skylar Music, News 13.